just released by the U.S. intelligence that details a world fallout is coming. TV Live today. A report was just released by the U.S. intelligence that details a world fallout is coming. And I'm, I'm going to take you into that here live. And in this fallout, they want to track and surveil you and monitor you like something out of the Hunger Games. And I'll show you what Google is already doing. It kind of shows that. Thanks for tuning in here live today on JWTV. Now, it took me a while to get live because I was working on a video. It's going to be coming out either tonight called Motivation in New World Order. And basically, it's going to be a video that's either going to be released tonight or later this week. Thanks for tuning in. But this was just symbolization of what was coming right here. Texas Power Conservation Alert raises alarm across Texas. The Earth, I say, is roughly 25% of generating units are offline because scheduled maintenance to prepare for summer heat. Basically, now, they already got it back on, but this was an alert to all people across Texas. They already had a storm, and they're doing this. So what is this big detail report I'm talking about that U.S. intelligence just issued? We're going to go into it. They released some documents on it as well. U.S. intelligence issues ominous warning over sustained economic downturn and other long-term threats. This has everything to do with the World War III scenario, with the pandemic scenario, everything. The U.S. intelligence community has warned that the CV will have long-term fallout and impact potential economic realities across the globe. According to the annual threat assessment, which comes on the heels of a separate intelligence report last week, which offers a grim view of global challenges likely to be faced over the next 20 years. The pandemic is expected to contribute to humanitarian and economic crises, political unrest, and geopolitical competition. And the strain, uh, it says, and will strain governments and societies. The economic fallout from the pandemic will likely create a worsening instability in at least a few, perhaps many countries, as people grow more desperate in the face of interlocking pressures that through sustained economic downturns, job losses, and disruptive supply chains. So they're warning us of this, right? And in the annual threat assessment report, they got the document here where they're warning us about this coming scenario that basically, in so many words, they tell us what's to come. But when you look at the scenario, how is it they're changing anything to make it anything different? So, annual this, and this report, Worldwide Threats to National Security of the United States Response to Section 617FY21 Intelligence Authorization Act. This report reflects the collective insights of the intelligence community, which is committed every day providing the uh, nuanced, independent, and unvarnished intelligence that policymakers, warfighters, and domestic law enforcement personnel need to protect American lives and American interests anywhere in the world. Ha! Is that fact or is that fiction? Anyway, this assessment focuses on most direct serious threats to the United States during the next year. See, they were saying all these other years, but it says during the next year. The order of topics presented in the assessment does not necessarily indicate the relative importance of magnitude of the threats in the view of the IC. All require a robust intelligence response, including where near-term focus may help. Now, I was just showing you yesterday. They said 2022, they were getting ready with the troops, with these robotic and things coming out of nowhere uh, basically these troops basically coming out with automated machines pretty much and i'll leave this document below for everybody else to read a little bit more about but this is what they're warning of and i want to go into what they're also going to be trying to do and also as it says america's enemies line up to put biden to the test and so april 14 2021 this report came out and they got the annual threat assessment in it and basically they're even revolving this around the world war three scenario are they really putting biden to the test or is biden going to be putting america to the test along with the whole new order system the world already seems more dangerous and complex 
than when Joe Biden took office less three months ago, partly because America's adversaries are putting the new commander-in-chief to the test. The United States is being drawn to a great power confrontation with China and Russia. Iran plans to enrich Iran at higher levels. So they're already promoting this as that. The Great Reset thing is going to be to do with the World War III scenario, but they also say fallout, political unrest, and everything else will be involved. And so that's why I'm going to be releasing a video later about the situation that is basically a motivational video about being in a new world order. And I was working on it all day, instead of getting copyright after copyright, it was pissing me off. So anyway, this is what's going to be happening. While all this is going on, they're already unfolding the technocracy. Google now is contesting features that scolds you for walking and smartphone is rolling out. So basically, some people are going to say, oh yeah, it's good, it's great. Thank you. Thank you for scolding people. Which, on one level, you could say, yeah, that's good. We need to stop people from walking. And, but at the end of the day, why should they be telling you what to do? Because they're about to roll out a whole new system and it's coming to the phones. Android smartphones are about to start nagging users to pay attention and watch where they're going when they detect that they're texting or scrolling while walking because they're literally looking at you and monitoring you. If they know you're about to walk across the street or you're walking without looking at your phone, it's 1984 surveillance state system in place. And so the new optional warnings have already started to roll out in beta form to some Pixel phones around Android digital well-being service according to The Verge. Google has yet to clarify much more about the rollout, but it's likely that more phones with digital well-being will also see the pedestrian warnings soon as well. And here it is right here. Watch your step with heads up. If anybody out, any of y'all seen this in the comment section, it's my sister JW, we don't always comment, but appreciate you sending some PP for moving, brother. Uh, no doubt. He says, watch your step with heads up. If you're walking while using your phone, get a reminder to focus on what's around you. Use with caution. Heads up doesn't replace paying attention. So this is what they're doing already. They're going to be installing these on the phones. Remember when they told you, oh, we're going to install the, the you know pandemic thing and nobody said you can do it. Now they're going to install it. Next, the surveillance state is going to get even stronger. So while they go through the economic downturn, while we go through it, and we keep our heads up, not because they're telling us to, but we keep our heads up, not in fear and not in doubt and despair, which is going to get very bad, but doesn't mean that we don't push ourselves to always raise our energy levels because we have to do that. This is what they're building as far as the technocracy state at the same time. Now, moving on along from that, Bill Gates will have to wait to block the sun. This is this is what they're saying. And they did. They pushed it back. But why does it matter if they're just going to stop it and push it back? Scientists have postponed a billionaire back study of the controversial technology called solar geoengineering, April 12, 2021. Keep in mind, he was a part of all the great reset and everything else that they were pushing. And, and don't forget, he was a part of the biggest situation that we deal with right now. A controversial Bill Gates back sunlight blocking experiment has been postponed for ethical reasons. If it's ethical, then why is it not ethical to just stop the whole thing? Because nanoparticles and all these nanomaterials in the atmosphere is what people are taking in. Oh yeah, and, uh, and I'll be dropping a Patreon video as well today. Later on, concerned groups want a clearer understanding of consequences before the launch. The test was originally scheduled for June 2021 will be delayed until at least 2022. Good. Just as quickly as it was announced, controversial solar geoengineering experiment backed by Bill Gates has been postponed until at least 2022. And it seems to me something is going on in 2022. Uh, the military is saying 2022. We got stuff that we're going to roll out. We got to get ready for this event 2022. Bill Gates wants to do this 2022. Um, and so the threat assessment report says something about next year, which is 2022. It's a lot of that lining up here that I'm starting to see. Listen, y'all, and so, I got the scoop on that already. World War Three is supposed to start 2022. The New World Order wants World War Three to start 2022. That's when things are finally going to hit the fan. Most likely at the beginning of 2020, 22, and that's why I told a lot of folks I'm starting to think towards the end of 2001 is it. And that's why I said 2001 is the year, because in 2001, right when it hits 
2022, on your freaking uh, your New Year's Day, when y'all your fake New Year's Day in the winter, when y'all do all those fireworks and whatnot have you, I guarantee, I, I'm not even going to guarantee, but you know, I really feel like guaranteeing that it's going to go down, but I won't, I'm just going to say it may go down, although I feel like, I'm going to just say it may go down, I really want to guarantee. So basically along the lines of all this and, and discussing it with you the last last piece of information I want to go into is they said some weird stuff about 15 5,200 tons of extraterrestrial dust fall on earth each year does Bill Gates have anything to do with that? but it says tiny dust particles far out outweigh larger flashier meteorites that hit the planet so now we're supposed to believe extraterrestrial rain and stuff is coming into our atmosphere. This seems like a pretext to some type of rain situation. Kind of like when they, you know, weaponize rain or do some weird stuff with that. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm just saying there's a lot of articles coming out with this crap. 5,200 tons of extraterrestrial dust fall to Earth. There's gentle rain bits of comets, asteroids, far and far away, larger meteorites that hit the planet. So basically, that's, that's the news now. They're telling you extraterrestrial dust falling, but meanwhile, you're gonna hit with nanoparticles, nanotech, and they wanna use that to control you. So this is where we're going here. When we talk about economic fallout, everything else, nanotech, smart technology, 2022, something's gonna happen that year. They already got a plan. Just like 2019 going into 2020 was the biggest year. Because Agenda 2030 is from 10, it's a 10 year span plan. With the 10 year span plan, it seems the escalated situation now is being evolved right in front of our eyes. So the smartphones are gonna get even smarter. The nanotech interacting with the smartphones they're, they're basically just looking at you, telling you not to walk across the street. And it's going to become even a bigger part of the surveillance state. And when these nanoparticles react inside of people and they start moving and start creating networks, because that's what they do, they create networks. Eventually, if you didn't get the interaction from whatever else they tell you to get, wink, wink, you know what I mean? But this is just one of the things I wanted to say. And I'm going to close out the video there because I got some more stuff to basically go deep into. And I hope, hopefully this video doesn't have a copyright strike on the other one that I'm about to release. Uh, where it's called, I told you at the beginning of the video, I was working on it all day and got kind of annoyed with it. It's crazy, right? You, you want to release a motivational video and then you get un, unmotivated. So I'll be probably premiering that tonight. If you don't see it tonight, you'll see it tomorrow. But it'll be on the right side of here if you're checking this video out later. So thanks for tuning in to this live report. And I got to get on out of here right now. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll have more information coming tomorrow. And this next video that I'm going to release is a little more uplifting than anything because we need to feed the soul as well while we go through these battles. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's the live report. Get your family ready. Get everybody ready. Prepare for what's coming. Thanks for tuning in.